Hardware says thank you for choosing them as your favorite place to buy hardware and building materials. At Harris Ace Hardware, they've got what you need to get any project done. You'll find great deals on everything to paint a room, clean your home, or take care of your yard. And lumber and building supplies from everything to build a new home to a doghouse. Harris Ace has the names you trust like Clark and Kensington, Craftsman and Scott's, Yeti Coolers, and the helpful advice you need to tackle any task. For the people and brands you can trust, shop at Harris Ace Hardware. In sports, no high school basketball games tonight at the Benny Radliff Arena. All those games have been canceled. They're going to be rescheduled at a later date. So the first region game now, not until January 9th on the road at New Hampstead. Again, they were hoping to get them in. But again, due to the bad weather, again, all the games at the Benny Radliff Arena tonight have been canceled. The Georgia and Alabama set for media day in Atlanta. The countdown continues Monday night's national championship game. Alabama still lists as the field goal favorite in the game. AM 1370 Fox Sports has wire-to-wire coverage on the big game. We'll have more in Monday sportscast to see how it will shake out Monday in Atlanta. But, again, the big game set for Monday night in Atlanta, Georgia, and Alabama. It's wild card weekend in the NFL. Both the Falcons and the Jaguars are in action. We've got both games for you here on Big Dog Country this weekend. The Falcons preview begins at 6 p.m. on Saturday as the game kicks off 8.30 Saturday night. Falcons at Los Angeles taking on the Rams. Second game of the day with Tennessee and Kansas City kicking off the action on Saturday at 4.30. Oddsmakers in Vegas like all the home teams to win in advance. Home field advantage big in the NFL. Game one, Kansas City with Coach Andy Reid and the Chiefs at home against Tennessee. Should be a win for the Chiefs. Kansas City a tough place to play. Chiefs have Tyreek Hill, kid from Coffee County, who's electrifying on a football field like the Chiefs at home and see them moving on to round two on Saturday. Game two Saturday, Atlanta, Los Angeles. As much as I love Todd Gurley and what he's done this year in the NFL, I've got the Falcons now. But they're headed back in the playoffs. I've got them headed back to the Super Bowl. I know it'll be a tough road, but Matt Ryan and Julio Jones, to me, is an unstoppable combination. I've said it all season. Throw to Julio, throw to Julio, throw to Julio. Rams have no one to cover him. The Falcons undefeated when they score 20 or more points. Falcons should easily score more than 20 in this game, and they should win the game Saturday night and move on to round two. Sunday, the Jaguars at home hosting Buffalo. Stadium's a sellout with the tarps on top taken off. The key here is for Blake Bortles not to turn it over, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, play good defense, let the four Pro Bowl players on defense dominate Tyrod Taylor. LaShawn McCoy not 100% nursing an ankle injury. Should slow him down, which will be a big factor for the Jaguars. Big day for Leonard Fournette and the running game. Doug Marone, the head coach, needs to simply go by his philosophy, which is, quote, if I had it my way, I'd run the ball every play, end quote. Sounds like a good strategy to me. Jaguars run the ball, win Sunday, advance to round two. In the second game, Sunday, Carolina against New Orleans. Scam Newton against Drew Brees. Enough said, I'll take the Saints at home. So to recap, I've got the Chiefs, the Falcons, the Jaguars, and the Saints looking to go 4-0 to start the year 2018. Enjoy the games. Remember both the Falcons game Saturday and the Jaguars game Sunday right here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. And the pregame for the Falcons, it starts at 6, kickoff at 8.30. The pregame for the Jaguars on Sunday, 12 o'clock, kickoff at 1 p.m. at Everbank Field. Finally, in sports, a reminder that the Wayne County High School Football Banquet set for January 18th at 6.30 p.m. in the high school commons area. Tickets will be $15 each at the door the night of the banquet. Cleve McClary will be the guest speaker. He's a motivational speaker who talks about his life injured in the Vietnam War where he suffered the loss of his left eye and left arm, had to undergo 34 surgeries to retain usage of the remainder of his body. He travels the country as a motivational speaker talking about personal defeat and turning it into victory. Again, Cleve McClary, the special guest speaker at the Touchdown Club Banquet. Again, the date set for January the 18th. That's going to do it for what is in local sports.